a test that the usual adult dose of amoxil, adult dose of amoxil is 0 0.5 grams per dose, per dose. Administered PID. The child is to be given the medication based on her body surface area and the usual adult dose. The child's body surface area is PSI of the child is 0 0.51. Well, I have that, right? Then I should have the adult body surface area, which is 1.7 meters squared. Now, can I work that equation? I could, okay? So if 0 0.5 grams is to 1.7 meters squared, then x grams is to 0 0.51 meters squared, okay? You can set it up this way, or you can convert this right away to milligrams. If you see that, oh, it's asking for milligrams is final answer. Either one works, okay? I set my classes so that I can see, okay? And then I got an answer that is x equals 0 0.15 grams. And from here, that's when I convert it to milligrams. And this will be 150 mg. You see that? Yeah. There's a follow-up question. How many milliliters should she receive per dose again if the supply of amoxil is 250 milligrams per ml? Quantity to be dispensed, like always. So this will be 250 milligrams for every milliliter. And what's my proportion here? 150 mg over x ml. Correct. Okay. Do you see that? So my x will be cross multiply again 150 divided by 250. It should be 0 0.6 ml. You got this one. Whether you convert after or before you proceed with the equation or solving the problem, that's fine. You should be able to get the same answer. Yes, Mark. Will point uh seven or one point seven three also work, or should we try to uh, one point seven? Either one works, but remember at the beginning I said there's 1.71 books. Books that will say 1.71. There are books that will say 1.73. So for uniformity purposes, I dropped it. Okay, so like on tests and stuff? Yeah, I'll one consider one. your answers. Oh. Yes, Wes? I saw you were erasing, erasing. So why do you like this better than the way you did it? Oh, you prefer erasion proportion. It doesn't matter whatever click.